We're seeing dramatic new video tonight of a police shooting Tuesday that left a gunman dead. Police say a man ran out of a taco shop in Southcrest while firing his weapon into a busy street and struck the window of a police cruiser before officers were able to return fire. CBS 8's Jenny Day is in our newsroom tonight with a closer look at that graphic video and shows us what happened. Jenny? Good evening. Two San Diego police officers were shot at before they even had a chance to get out of their vehicle. That led to the death of 33-year-old Derek Weatherspoon. Tonight, San Diego police released some of the body cam video. Here's how police say it unfolded. It was a black male who was in the parking lot to the church waving a gun around. Around 5.30 Tuesday night, someone called 911 to report a man with a gun in a church parking lot on National Avenue. About 15 minutes later, two more calls came in. San Diego emergency. This time from the Humberto's Taco Shop on 43rd Street. He walked around and oh, he kind of turned crazy. And I saw he dropped, he dropped kind of a gun earlier. He, he dropped a gun? Him. Yeah, and he took it up really quick to try to hide it. Things quickly escalated as two San Diego police officers arrived to investigate. Before they could even get out of the car, multiple shots were fired, nearly missing a woman driving in that black minivan. We froze and edited some of the video because some viewers may find it difficult to watch. Shots fired, shots fired. Two San Diego police officers returned fire, striking and killing 33-year-old Derek Weatherspoon. You still got a hand on the gun, yeah? Yeah, he's got a hand on the gun. Officers say he was still holding a 22 caliber handgun when he went down, and that's why they weren't able to do CPR right away. Weatherspoon was pronounced dead at the scene. We're still working to find out what was going on with Weatherspoon before police arrived. No officers were injured, and remarkably, no one else on that busy street was struck by gunfire. The Sheriff's Department is investigating this case along with the FBI and United States Attorney's Office. They will look to see if there were any policy violations and evaluate the tactics used by the officers. If you would like to see all of the video police released today, it is available on their YouTube page. Reporting in the newsroom, Jenny Day, CBS 8.